please like and subscribe and leave me a comment so we can chat. Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking about Marshmallow Snow Cream from Goose Creek. Um, the specs on this are, um, it's a 14.5 ounce three wick with a soy blended wax with a burn time of 35 plus hours. The overview is yum, double fluffy marshmallows and vanilla cream. The notes are double fluffy marshmallows, vanilla, snow cream, whatever that is, sugar, milk, cream, and oh, they listed sugar twice. Okay. Um, so I did not like this when I first smelled it. When I went through, before I did my, my candle haul videos, I'd given it a, several tries and I just didn't like it. To me, it was weak and it was watered down. And I was kind of disappointed. I thought I got a flop, you know. Um, and last night when I was trying to figure out if I wanted to review this today or not, I was smelling it and I got this, like these faint hints of peppermint. And even though that's not in this candle, I mean, sometimes when they run a certain, I don't know if this is how it goes when in the factories when they're making these candles, but sometimes like when they're making one scent and then they do another, like the scents can run together. So perhaps they did a peppermint type candle prior to making these and there it was left over. Perhaps there is peppermint in here, but they just didn't list it. Whatever it is that this, the, what I'm getting is that it's, cooling off the fragrance a bit which I find to be very nice and quite necessary in fact because even though as it's burning that peppermint isn't there I do think that it's it's something that causes it to be a straight kind of vanilla marshmallow and with like no bakery no cookies no nothing and I like that about this when I lit it up it started to throw immediately and I was in heaven. I really like this fragrance. This is not your typical like um, vanilla fragrance. There's something else going on in this that I really like. It isn't generic. Um, so this is like a sweet ice cream vanilla marshmallow you know like it's it's got this creaminess in it. it it's got a milkiness to it okay and that's kind of what do, and then it has this frosting aspect to it as well I'm getting hints of white chocolate coming out as well and it's very it's decadent but it isn't something that like it isn't something that um, is particular to a certain grouping of people. Obviously, if you don't like vanilla scented candles, then you wouldn't burn this. But what I'm saying is that this, uh, this can appeal to anyone. This is also a great layering scent in that if you're burning, let's say you wanted to, to create your own like balsam vanilla. You could burn this and a straight balsam candle together and it would create just such a beautiful fragrance in the air. So these are scents that I do get to layer. They aren't going to be ostentatious or overpower. They're gonna blend with whatever I'm burning it with. So I really like this on its own. Um, it isn't as strong as I thought it was going to be. It is, you can smell it. I'm not saying you can't smell it. You can smell it. But, um, you know, I just thought it would be a lot stronger. I think a lot of the time with um, candles that have like a white wax, there tends to be less fragrance oils for some reason. I, I, I've heard this in the past um, being said, so I don't know if it's a definitive thing or not, but um, 
that could be the case. But anyway, it is throwing. It's around a seven. And I think that that's a good candle. So this is something that I was really not into. And then as soon as I burned it, I was I fell in love with it. So that goes to show you that you never know on cold until you light it up. Um, so this is like... Uh, it's, I want to compare it to the other fragrances that they've had. There was this candle that they had in 2018 that they released for Halloween called, I think it was called Marshmallow Buddies. And that is very, I had it and I burned it at Halloween and it was really nice, but it was light. I couldn't smell it. It was that kind of light. Um, but I liked it on cold and this is very similar. Um, in fact, they might even be the same. I, I'm not sure. I don't have that fragrance anymore to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but I think it, th that they're both similar. Um, this is, this is a, I want to say this is similar to Vanilla Bean Noel, but it's really not. This is in its own category of, of a marshmallow vanilla. I would say I like this a little bit more. There's no smoke. The Vanilla Bean Noel has like a smokiness to it that this doesn't have. Um, this kind of has a warmth about it where it almost smells as if um, you're, you're smelling something being whipped up in the blender or in not in the blender, in the, um, the mixer, you know, we're blending things together in the kitchen we're making the cookie doughs we're making the buttercream frosting and this is this is the um um the overall uh idea of this candle if you will i've i i really do like this i recommend it if you um Either if you are looking for a vanilla candle, this is not going to be ostentatious. It's not going to be in your face. It's not, you're not going to be choking on the, on the fragrance at all. It's, um, it's, cl it's clean too. It's not like a, a coying, um, it's, it's, it isn't straight bakery or gourmand. It is, you know, like it, it can, it can be it's kind of an in between those, like the the clean and the gourmand. It's like in between, like it's vanilla, you know, but it has more to it. The marshmallow, it's it's an indulgent vanilla. It's a gooey vanilla. <laughs> so that's what I have to say about marshmallow snow cream. Um, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.